Yes, 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 yes. Finally, after two and a half years, three delays, I finally have the most single-handedly important console of our generation in my possession. And I'm going to unbox it. Let me start off by saying that I am the handheld console gamer on this website, on this platform, on YouTube. When people think of the handheld gamer, they conjure up images of their mind of Aaron, the handheld console gamer. But seriously, in my younger days, traveling all the time, forced me into the world of handheld gaming. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Pokemon Mini. But today is a landmark day for all handheld gamers across the world because I have in my possession the analog pocket. What? Reviewers have already had this for a couple weeks already? Reviews are out already? Here it is! I'm so absolutely excited for this thing. I cannot believe that it's real. I've waited for so long. I can't believe it. Let's see, what is this? Um, receipt. So, let's take this, uh... And, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fancy knife. Open up here. I was waiting forever for this. Okay, please. Okay, let me get rid of this. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the analog pocket. This is like Apple quality stuff. Here's a ugly green sticker, um, but definitely a box that you're not gonna be tossing out anytime soon. So let me go ahead and open this up. I like the feel of the box. Ooh, that is premium. Oh my god, it's very, it's, it's matte. It's like, a. let's open this baby up. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta roll my sleeves. It's here. I can't believe how beautiful this thing looks. Oh my god, it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I'm gonna take this out. Oh my gosh, this feels so dang good. Okay, ready? Ooh, man, this feels amazing. So I'm not gonna boot it up in this video. It's just my excitement and unboxing. I'll, I'll probably do like a test uh, for this later on. Uh, but especially, definitely when I do get the dock in, which I hope, I don't remember what, what, um, batch i'll explain later uh about the second round of pre-orders but uh hopefully that comes in soon but this thing is so nice really really good quality the screen is a 1600 by 1440 pixel display that is exactly 10 times more than the original game boy which was a 160 by 140 pixel display the thing on this is supposed to be better than an iPhone and, and the, 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 the glass it's it's a glass screen it's gorilla glass and you, as you can see it's a little bit raised I don't know if you can tell here let me try and focus here which definitely gives it that premium value uh, buttons no rubber buttons here is a start select uh, home button the uh, really nice uh, here's the uh, LNR buttons for Game Boy stuff um, actually let's put in a game Hey, that's really good. My hands are the perfect size. I've seen a lot of people complain that all oh, their hands are too big, but my hands are the perfect size. Um, yeah, so I will do a follow-up video talking about uh, games. Maybe just do like extra B-roll stuff uh, for for the channel. Just you know, music stuff. Slot for an SD card because you'll be able to uh, play. Uh, you know, do screenshots, update the firmware and even play custom-made Game Boy games because of the uh, FPGA uh, device that's in here. It allows you to, it allows for a lot of customizations. Um, volume, power button, and uh, man, I can't believe it's here. I am so absolutely excited. Obviously we got some uh, paperwork and then a charging cable, which the thing with this charging cable I thought was bizarre. It's a USB-C to USB-C. Like luckily I have one. I have a USB-C to USB-C. Um, uh, charging adapter, charging brick, but, but 
who has one? Who who has one? If 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 I didn't have that charging brake because of my iPad, I would have had to charge this from the computer or gone out and buy myself an extra brick. But other than that, that is going to be the unboxing. Today is a monumental day for me as a lover of handheld games. In fact, collecting handheld games has been my favorite part of growing my collection throughout the years. And I think the Analog Pocket is the console to go to when collecting games, uh, handheld games from the 80s and 90s. I would like to point out though that I did kind of get an early bird special for pre-ordering the Analog Pocket all the way back in August of 2020. The price has gone up. But not in part of the out of analog's fault. It's because of chip shortages and supply chain stuff. However, Analog just opened up a second round of pre-orders, which I myself got into specifically for the dock. Because when I originally had pre-ordered the Analog Pocket, it was big news. I woke up so early that day, I was so scared that I was not going to get one. The only thing I went for was the console itself. I put it into my shopping cart, clicked checkout, got it. Now I went back to the page to try and pre-order the rest of the accessories. It was all sold out. That being said, Analog will deliver the second round of pre-orders in a batch kind of first come first serve basis. So the longest you might actually have to wait could be upwards to 2023. And they also said that they're going to be doing support for other handheld consoles like Neo Geo Pocket Color and the TurboGrafx-16, Bomberman 93. But the thing that I'm most excited for as a wannabe musician and aspiring game developer is support for GB Studio and Nanoloop video game development tools and music making software respectively. Anyway, I'm gonna go play some Pokemon Crystal and Mega Man Battle Network, so I'll see you guys later.